Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can create a subdomain on cPanel and with that we will also see how we can install WordPress on the subdomain. Log into your cPanel. So we are inside our cPanel. You can see it would be somewhat similar to what you can see here. So here in guys at first you need to search for domains here. So if you are unable to search, you can just type control F and search for domain. Here it is guys, domains, add-on domains and subdomains. So we want subdomains, so I'll click on it. Here in guys, we need to create a subdomain. So let's say our website name is worldinfi.com and we want to create a subdomain. Now what is a subdomain? Let's say, let's say we have a website google.com. So the subdomains of that will be like news.google.com, okay, images.google.com. So these are the subdomains you can create for any domain. So herein we have worldinfi.com. Here it is, here is the website. Now we will see how we can create a subdomain of this website and we will install a separate WordPress on it. Okay, so we will be installing demo.worldinfi.com. So after that, we will install a new WordPress version on it. Right now it is worldinfi.com. So let us see how. Go to subdomains again. Here in, we will type demo. Okay, so the domain will be worldinfi.com. The document root will be demo.worldinfi.com. Add it under public underscore HTML slash demo.worldinfi.com we added demo and it automatically created demo.worldinfi.com we just added to public underscore html directory that's it now let us click on create so guys success demo.worldinfi.com has been created let us open it now after typing demo.worldinfi.com the following will be visible because we haven't added anything we haven't installed WordPress on it okay so now we will see how we can install WordPress on it go to a new browser here in type WordPress and press enter here in click on wordpress.org that is wordpress.org on reaching the page on reaching the home page let's say you will reach here after clicking wordpress.org we will also add the link in the description here in just click on get WordPress now the download option should be visible here it is the current version is 5.6 click on it to download the downloading started you need to wait for a few seconds it's only 15 MB so guys now we have downloaded it here you can see you can right click here or you can straight away click here arrow and show in folder it went to the downloads folder here it is guys so copy this path we need this zip file we will upload this go to your subdomain section here and go to cpanel again we have reached the cpanel here and go to file manager below remember our directory was public underscore html in that it created demo.wordinfi.com here it is Okay, you need to double click. You can see 7.36 p.m. We just created it and the time is the same almost. Double click. Herein, we need to upload the WordPress zip file which was under downloads folder. So copy this path. Okay. Click on upload. Select file, click on WordPress, zip file open. It is getting uploaded, you can see. Guys, now you can see completed 100%. Go back to the following. We have reached here. We are inside public underscore HTML, demo.worldinfi.com. Here in, select this, right click and extract here. Click on extract. Click on extract file.
completed click on close so here are our files let us not delete the zip file we don't need it right click delete confirm here are our wordpress file double click so it is inside a folder wordpress we want it outside so just click on select all now we need to move it so obviously click on move we need to move it here just inside the immediate folder of demo.volnv.com click on move file directory is empty now because it has moved to one level above up one level here are all the files when we will move up one level public underscore html will be visible and we are here inside it we have our all we have our wordpress files so this is an empty one now we can delete it okay so these are our wordpress files so guys what we need to do we need to install wordpress now so guys now if you remember on typing demo.volinfi.com the following was visible now i'll press enter or refresh now you can see it will show you a screen for wordpress to set up configuration yes yes that's it here wordpress configuration started on demo.volinfi.com here in guys select the language a lot of languages are visible supported by wordpress i'll click on english only click on continue now you can see you need a database we will create it at first let us click on let's go here in guys you need to add a database name username password host host and table prefix we will see them one by one at first we need a database name so let us create a database go to cpanel again go to cpanel we have reached the cpanel here in control f search for database here it is databases we want for mysql databases click on it now guys let us create a new database it automatically prefix the following so you just need to name it and you can also write it side by side So here we have added subdomain is the following and the database name let us add it i'll add let's say amit db create database added a database copy the name of the database and we will just save it we will just keep a record by writing it minimize go back now we have created a database here you can see a database is visible amit db but we need to also add a user for it so guys on reaching below you need to add a user so that we can connect user with the database this is essential now let us add new user i'll type amit password let us mention any password so guys we added a password the strength is very good you can also generate a password from here and just click on create user before that let us add the name also username let us add the password which we entered there Okay guys go to panel c panel again click on create user user created learn njm underscore amit which we added here for backup okay oh sorry i forgot it was amit okay go back here in guys now reach add user to database so user was amit and database was amit db you can check here before clicking before adding this was a username this for a database you just need to add you just need to add it click on add 
all privileges give all privileges so this was our user database you can check again from here all privileges yes you are allowing this you are allowing this user to access the entire database click on make changes that's it you saved privileges for username amit for the database amit db okay guys go back so we have created we have done the changes now go to configuration now here in add the database name database name was this one username was the following database username okay and password database host you can keep local host keep it as it is table prefix if you are running multiple wordpress installations in a single database you can add a table prefix i'll keep the same click on submit you have done the changes run the installation the same is written here okay you have entered your website let's add the site title you can add any title username for the website it should be different let's say i'll add amit 2021 password you can add here any password we have added the password you can if you want to show it you can click here okay guys always remember you will need this password to login to your wordpress website which is now on subdomain so you need to remember this let us add it here name it as wp username for 21 okay and wp password you can enter the password for backup here let us mention this as database username and database password to avoid confusion and database password to avoid confusion okay guys we have reached here your email id you can add your email id here okay guys now search engine now search engine visibility discourage search engine from indexing this site from indexing this site no we don't want this we want the search engine to index it by default which is a very good feature in wordpress you don't need to check it keep it as it is now click on install wordpress you can see guys we have installed the password you need to add your password and the username is the following now just click on login here or guys if you want to see a default website go to a new tab type demo.worldinfo.com again press enter now your demo website with the demo theme of wordpress will be visible okay you can log in from here also or it's a good habit if, if you want to log in and enter the dashboard the wordpress section and manage it from slash you can type wp hyphen admin or you can also type wp hyphen login or straight away or straight away click on login here so herein you need to add your username for wp username amit 2000 and the password you entered here just now i'll add it add the password from here you can see the password remember me it's your wish to select this or not now click on login now you will enter your wordpress website here it is dashboard so we have successfully entered it here it is guys